we come in your presence in the name of Yahushua Hamash. We all together here, O oh God, we cry out unto you. From where our help comes? Our help comes from the hill. Our help comes from the creator of the heavens and earth. Our help comes from the Elohim Yahweh. Lord God, we have gathered here to do your will. We ask for your wisdom, understanding, knowledge, might, counsel, and fear of Lord. Holy Spirit, you lead us, you guide us, you give us your counsel this day. Father God, we ask for a smoke screen as a sound and sight barrier against all interlopers, satanists, evil agents, and evil spirits around us. Lord, you are our shield. You are our rear guard and your buckler. Hold us, O oh God, in your protection. From top, bottom, and east side, through the blood of Christ. Lord, we ask for your power and strength to come upon us, that we will be able to accomplish what you want us today. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So, <clears throat> I, um, for quite some time, then I've been asking the Lord, so what, how do we go about these armies of hell you want, to, you want us to deal with in this session? But he hasn't said anything in particular, but it kind of maybe like little bits and pieces here and all that. So we would start from the when we go in, we're going to go to the Father's chambers to ask him, you know, or maybe we'll go to the strategy room to ask for um, what strategy he wants to use. The the reason being that when um, when you're dealing with armies of hell, some are humans and there will be different, you know, kinds of um, judgments that the Lord would want to, you know, um, issue. It will, it will be at different levels, okay? So, uh, but before I continue, hey, um, so this is being recorded, and if you want to, that is fine. And um, if you don't want to show your video, but I only do record the audio. That is all we do, the audio. So it's, your face is not going to show anyway, anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So um, the other thing is that um, before we go into the rooms where the Lord will have us to deal with this, please understand that this is not, um, you, we need to be able to approach, you know, when we're dealing with, with humans that are involved, that is the need to understand that truly vengeance belongs to the Lord. We are not going to, we are not, um, when God gives you the privilege to step into different, some places, because I believe some of the things we're going to be doing are decrees. We'll be making decrees, you know, why the angels will not execute those decrees. So when the, God, the Lord gives you the, the opportunity, gives us the opportunity to step into certain places to exercise our, um, to exercise, to you know, to apply the sword, you know, um, let us approach it from the point of, with, with based on the understanding that our in truly our interest is not in any human perishing in hell that is our interest you gotta know that that um it belongs to the lord you know um because that is not his desire as well he would want that you know people would come to saving knowledge of jesus christ okay to saving knowledge of jesus christ yeah that is one two um but there are humans like you know you, you had there are humans that are not truly humans they are hybrids and the lord also will deal with them you know he will deal with them the way they need to be dealt with okay and sometimes he will choose to separate the the part that is you know or that is evil and do you know he sometimes chooses to do that you know i remember as a um, as a kid growing up in Nigeria, one of the testimonies I heard then, um, one man um, I heard in a church or something was, the man was saying that, um, 
or the young the young guy was saying the guy was saying that he actually um he that he was a spirit that actually whatever thing fell from a tree and entered into his mommy's uh, womb you know so it he was so hybrids have been there all the time that has been there a long time ago you know that um they didn't end with the um with the lord you know destroying them with um the f with the flood of noah with noah's flood as the case may be but they are still prevalent today you know as we speak and some of them may be members of our family you know that we deal with so however let the lord be the one to um as we he knows how to execute judgment well okay there are people um that i know that the lord also you know he takes them and he does the work in them and he uses them to go back to the um to where they to that kingdom of darkness that they, they've served that they've known all their life and use them to save you know to make um huge dents you know in the kingdom of darkness okay so also in order to not to get backlash you don't want to be you know make sure that there is nothing like oh this person has been doing me this therefore they need to you know they need to be dealt with flesh and blood really is not our concern our <laughs> the fit to fight it is the spirits behind and you engage based on how the lord allows you to engage okay he said pray for your enemies i i used to pray for those you know for because i would be like um oh the lord you know save this person save that person save that person I'm not realizing that i was really building a hedge of protection around them and the lord wants to apply judgment but I was building a hedge of protection. Oh, Lord, forgive them, repent. They slap you on one cheek, you turn the other cheek. There are, there are, there are people, you, there are people you don't, I don't give the opportunity to slap what you, as you're raising your hand, <laughs> you know, that kind of a thing, the, the, the spirit in me would rise up and it is time to put it down, you know. Um, however, you know, however, 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 he said to pray for your enemies. You can't be praying for God to save someone he doesn't want to, he knows this, that, you know. He said, some, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. And I will apply judgment to whom I want to show I apply judgment to. So, but we would leave him to be the one to execute the judgment. Let it not be that, you know, you approach it with, um, with the um, bitterness against someone, you know, or frustration against someone that um somebody that they have been um um and you wonder you've been praying 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 that way and god is not you know there was a time i prayed that kind of prayer as well where you know oh lord you know do this to this person do that to that person and to one of the lord said to me if i do it the way you have been asking me it means i have to also you know because i'm i'm the just god just judge you or someone in your blood your son and later will pay the price because they're gonna do the they probably will do something and the force of darkness will present it in his court and tell him but you exercise that judgment before you need to exercise it here again you need to exercise it here you know so it is important that truly truly with all your heart leave the um leave the execution of judgments to the Lord. But the, the word said that, oh, suffer not the witch to leave. I know the word said that, but there are some, some witches and wizards who have given their hearts to Jesus, okay? And truly, truly are serving God. You know, they were there once and the Lord saved them and gave them a Damascus to That is what they were talking about. But it does it do it all the time? No, I've also seen where he gave a lateral judgment immediate and the person right there died. Okay, right there, right there, right there, died. Whatever be the case, we want to. We don't want to be on the side of the kingdom of darkness at any time when you're operating in the court of heaven. You don't want to side them. You want to show up by if the Holy Spirit is saying release this word, you're releasing that word. You know, do this, you're doing that. 
however the Holy Spirit is leading, you follow after him, you know, he knows, um, so you don't want to be on the side of your, so you, you are, whether it is on the uh, um, accusatory part or you are on the part of enabling, you know, you don't want to be whichever way, you don't want to be on their part, you don't want to be on the side, because it's like a counter, um, um, it counters what you're trying to get to. Will the Lord cut off the evil? Of course, you, you have to apply the sword, you know, or crush it, whatever way the Lord wants. But we have to trust him to do what he said he would do. Okay? We have to trust him to do that. Okay? Any questions? So I needed to clear up that mix up, you know, before we can proceed. So understanding that this is not just for... Um, you know, yes, it is a lot that gives vengeance, but also you, we cannot, um, on the other hand too, you cannot be, how did the Lord, there was a the time the Lord said to me, you cannot be goodra than me, you know, in the sense that I cannot do more good than him. I cannot have more compassion than him. You know, if anybody has any good to give is because the Lord gave it to that person. The true good, not the fake one, niceness that the um the flesh or the kingdom of darkness portray, like they are nice when they are after fulfilling the evil agenda. No. So the true good actually it only comes from him. Okay. So um I've also had a situation um a situation whereby he said, But you are the one stand standing in the way. I'm like, this needs to be said, but you're the one standing in the way, you know, because you know, I was uh praying, oh Lord, you know. Um, make them have them make them repent, make them do this, Lord, do that, do that. He said, No, so, so, so what I said, you pray as I tell you to pray, I will tell you what to pray. He said it in the word, I said it in the word. The Holy Spirit would, we do not know how to pray, but the Spirit of God, you know, prays through us. There is a place, I think, is in um, Zechariah, it says, He is the spirit of supplication, spirit of grace and supplication, He's the spirit of prayer. So he's the one that detects the prayer, you know. He said you do after the leading of the Spirit of God. So he knows what he wants to accomplish through us. We are just co-laborers, okay, with him. We're just co-laborers with him. Okay, so let's get started if we don't have any questions, you know. So that was where I was kind of, okay, so Lord, how do you want us to sort through all of this, you know, and, um, and deal with these armies of God that has been released against us. You know, and he's been quiet. He's not saying anything to me since then, you know. But um, on a personal level, you know, um, like the dream I shared in the, in the, in the, in the information that I, the message that I, I released, you know, um, yeah, when I, I, I woke up, he just, he directed me on what to do as, okay, go to this place, this is what I need you to do, you know, and he was telling me what to say, and I would say it, at the end of the day, I saw, you know, like, um, somewhere, like, fire, and some, like, like, a wind, and that blew out over across the, and the same pit, the dog, they were, they were, I saw them, bear, you know, some of them were, they, they um, piled up in the, in that pit, then covered, you know, so, that is the way the Lord wanted to achieve. But, but you also know that, you know, he uses different strategies, even though it might be the same issue, but he he, he probably would use a different strategy here. So, um, but I know that one of it will be to decree. We're going to be making decrees and declarations, okay? Um, but understand that, you know, I probably will be going to the war room, you know, to the war room, to see, but let's see how the Lord leads us. Okay, let's see. So, but on the center, one of the weapons is the word. <laughs> A major majority of the weapon is the word, you know. So we'll see how He leads us. Okay. So, any questions? Okay, let's get started. Um, who is in the mood for you know, hot Thanksgiving? Who is in the mood for that? Who's going to do Thanksgiving for us? I will give thanks to the Lord. 
Okay. Uh, um, who would do um, praise for us? Peace, can you do praise for us? Will you be able to do praise for us, please? Okay, maybe she will. Okay, I will. Let me grab my Bible. Okay. Okay, uh, Brenda, go ahead. I'll do Thanksgiving for us, please. Father God, this morning, uh, we stand before your gate. We ask, well, not permission, but we step into your gates with thanksgiving at this moment. We enter into your gate with thanksgiving. You said to come joyfully, happily, praising and thanking God because he is so good. We thank you, Lord God, that we could join with you, join with your angels, Lord God, with your mighty ones, to give you thanks, to give you thanks because you are so good. And we could see your goodness, Lord God, in the land of the living. So we stand today, Lord God, giving you thanks. And, and, and it's so difficult, Lord God, to say, not just giving you thanks and praise. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, for your so many benefits in the earth today, Lord God, for us. We invite you into our space, into, our, into the earth, Lord God, and you came. When you see us in this trust, you come, Lord God, and we thank you for that. At this moment, Lord God, where we are at the brink of chaos, disaster, and everything, Lord God, and we do not know what to do, and we call upon your name, Lord, we thank you because you show up. You show up, Lord God. You really honestly do show up. And I am thankful for your presence at this moment in this group, Lord God, for every individual in every home that is represented here today, Lord God. We give you thanks for each and every individual that you would show up, Lord God, in ways that we have never experienced you before. That is what we long for, to be experiencing your presence so mightily, Lord God, every single day, every moment. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear us. We thank you, Lord God, that you see us. We thank you, Father God, this morning, because you have so much to give to us, uh, not, not just in the in, in physical, but Lord, the spiritual things, Lord God, to know you so that we could have this relationship because the bridegroom is coming and we are going to have this marriage and we need to know what the bridegroom or who the bridegroom is even more, Lord. And we thank you for revelation. We thank you, Father God, for the joy that you put in our hearts, Lord God, this morning. We thank you. Oh, how we thank you Lord, for all of the wonderful benefits that you have prepared for us. All of the benefits. Yikes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, we thank you Lord. We thank you. Pray. Do his name. What is that? Amen. Okay, peace. I'm going to have a secretary. We hear King of God, love him, he glorifies. Oh, you are my God. I honestly, honestly search for you, O Lord. My soul searches for you. My whole body loves for you, O Lord. In this past and weary land, where there is no water, mighty God. I have seen you in your sanctuary, my God, and have gazed upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. Oh, how I praise you. How I praise you, my Lord. I'll praise you as long as I live, lifting up my hands to you in prayer, oh God. You satisfy me more than the richest fit. I will praise you. We sense of joy, my Lord. I lie awake, 
thinking of you, my God, meditating on you through the night, O oh King of love, because you are my help. I speak of joy in the shadow of your wings. I claim to you, Lord. My soul claims to you, my Lord. Your strong right hand holds me securely that those plotting to destroy me will come to ruin. Lord, it is you I need. It is you I praise, my Lord. It is you I praise. It is you we pray. It is you we glorify. I rejoice in you, my Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Be glorified. Jesus, my name. Amen. Hallelujah to your wonderful name, O God. Who is like you, Almighty God, none to compare with you. We praise you. We honor you, Almighty God, for you are awesome. You're wonderful. You're excellent. You're glorious, O Lord. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of us be glad. Clouds and darkness surround you. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. If fire goes before you and burns up your enemies round about, your lightnings light the world, the earth sees and trembles, the mountains melt like wask at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare your righteousness and all the people see your glory. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name. We glorify your name. Let all be put to shame who serve curved images who boast of idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, Lord, are most high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. You, we who love the Lord, we hate evil. He preserves our souls. He delivers us out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. We rejoice in the Lord and we give thanks at the remembrance of your holy name. You are holy, you are wonderful, you are excellent, you are glorious. Almighty God, we are so grateful, oh Lord. And we praise you that you would choose to co-labor, oh Lord, with us, mighty God. You choose us as your co-laborers in the earth, Lord. We praise your holy name that you would choose to put the your treasure, yourself, your Holy Spirit in these earthen vessels, oh Lord, so that the, the excellency of the power will be of you. We praise you. We praise you, my dear God, that you are love. You have more than enough love for all of your creation. Yes, you have more than enough love for all of us, oh Lord. We praise you that you have uniquely made each and every one of us, oh Lord, fearfully and wonderfully made, yet in your image, yet unique, oh Lord, none like each and every one of us, none like us later, no, none, uniquely made in your image. We praise you for your extravagant generosity towards us, oh Lord. We praise your holy name. We enter your courts with praise, oh Lord. We praise you, we worship you, mighty God. You are so holy, you are so wonderful, you are so excellent, you are so marvelous, you are so powerful, you are so good, you are true, oh mighty God. Yes, sometimes we cannot wrap our mind, cannot comprehend the length and the width and the depth and the height of your love for us, your goodness toward us, O oh Lord, your mercy and your grace, Lord, clearly demonstrating the love you have for us. We praise you, mighty God, who is like you, who can be compared to you. You have no rival, you have no equal, Oh Lord, you're none, none like you. You are too beautiful for, for description, too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard. You always outdo yourself, Almighty God. You always leave us in awe of you. Hallelujah to your name. We bless your holy name, Almighty God. Oh, you Pays 
you are so good, you pay attention to even when a bird falls to the ground. You pay attention to that, Lord. You know each, you know personally every strand of hair on our, on, on our head, Lord. You know every detail that has to do with us. Mighty God, you're so awesome. You're so wonderful. You're so glorious. Oh, we bow before you as we enter into you. We bow, oh Lord. Yes, mighty God, we bless you, oh Lord. We bless your holy name. We glorify your holy name. We worship you, mighty God. There is none like you. We, we praise you that you are the destiny molder. <laughs> yes, Lord, that you, that we, you foreknew, you also predestinated. You already gave us the destinies, oh Lord. Even long before you brought us into the world, mighty God, and mighty God, everything we need to fulfill our destiny, you already given to us, mighty God. Hmm. We praise you that you would bring us into that place of fulfilling the destinies you have for us, mighty God. We praise you. We praise you that your hand is already stretched forth over us, Lord, to release your grace upon us, to bring us into that place of fulfilling the destinies you have for us. Who can turn it back? Who can turn it back? Your hand is stretched, your hand is stretched forth against our enemies. Who can turn it back? The destinies you have for us, O oh Lord, you have purposed for our lives. The things you've purposed for our lives. Who can know them? Who can know them? No one. You are God. Yes, O oh Lord. You are God. You are almighty. You are excellent. You are glorious. We worship you, Lord. We are so grateful <laughs> and joyful, Lord. We run into you, mighty God. We run into you, Lord Jesus. We run into you, precious Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. For truly without you, we can do nothing. So we run into you, Lord. And say, yes, Papa. <laughs> oh lord we're so excited we are so excited mighty god to see what you will do for us this day what you have been waiting to accomplish and you will accomplish it oh lord be exalted forevermore hallelujah to your name in the mighty name of jesus christ and now mighty god we ask for your permission to step into your Room of strategies. For those who are wondering where we are heading to, yes, we're going into the room of strategy, and here is where the Lord also can give us strategies, as in tell us how we can achieve something. Give us the strategies to use or he would want to use. So if this is your first time in the room of strategy, just enter by faith. So for without faith, it's impossible to please God. The just shall live by faith. So enter by faith. Precious Holy Spirit, open our eyes, our ears. Yes. I call forth our spirit man. Rise up. Entwined with the spirit of God. Yes. And come into this room of strategy. Thank you, Father. We ask for your permission to step into your room of strategy. Almighty God. <laughs> yes, Lord. You are wisdom. Yes, Lord. 
we lay before you um, yes, the, yes, dealing with armies of hell that have been released against our destinies, against our lives. So what strategies do you want us to use to do that, O oh Lord? In a way, would you want us to meet with you? If you're hearing something, if you're seeing something, if you're perceiving something, let us know. Okay? Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, awesome God. Thank you, Maybe for that, anyone else? I'm hearing the court of decree. Yes, I mean, God said that we need to make decrees, but He said, My people are tired. We need to have um, our spirit man quickened. Does that make sense? Infused with strength, infused with charged up we need to have our spirit man charged up okay yes before we can go to the room of um to the court of decrees and declarations thank you lord anyone else I wonder if this makes sense i keep on seeing um oranges Many fruits. You're seeing oranges. what? Oranges. Oranges. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Oranges, and uh, they have a back, a dark backdrop. Then where? Sorry, I didn't get that. There is like a black curtain or a a black uh, backdrop, but the many fruits, branches of oranges. Okay. I don't know what it means. No, that's fine. It, you don't, we don't need to know or understand what it means. All we know is that the Lord is going to guide us. So you say it's on a black backdrop, is it? Yes, there is a black backdrop. But in front, of course, there are those bunches of oranges. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. So you can okay. ask the Lord, say, what does it mean? He, and he will tell you, say, what does that mean? Anyone else? Um, mm -hmm. right. Yes. Basically, when we enter the room, I, there's like a building, there's a, in a construction site. There's building and like, and someone is standing and there's orange, like work men with, 
orange work work cloth work clothes yes yeah work clothes yeah. and somebody had a plan in, in their hand but there is something that does not move uh, something that like something else showed up in front of that picture um, an animal and I could not distinguish the animal um, between uh, a horse and what's the other one? Um, a mule, a donkey or something like that. Right. But, and, but what came to me that we had to cleanse, we had to cleanse, like to, to, to plead the blood over the hindrance, the thing that is hindering. That's why we're not, you know, what, not moving, I think. That's, that's the, what came to mind. That's, that's it. Maybe it's, you know. Okay. Okay. So. And then somebody had in the chat about the blood. So that is like spot on. Right. By the blood of the lamb. And by the way, so there might be some, um, when you say cleanse, that would that be that uh, like repentance? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, again, and you just said that it, we talk about, I mean, we've have, we've had news and, 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 and people are tired, not, not just physical tiredness, but it is Spiritual where time. all of the all of the news and stuff like that is like, you know, people who have gone through trauma, it's, it's traumatizing, there's a lot of fear around and stuff like that, but it's like just dipping ourselves in a place where we are refreshed before we yeah. can die. Okay, okay, thank you, yeah. So that, conf yeah, so that confirms... Uh, that we need to, you know, get cleansed and refreshed, not necessarily repentance, but, you know, whatever that came on us needs to be washed off, you know, and whatever that attached itself to us, you know, that the Lord will, you know, sever us from it, remove it from us. Okay, anyone else? When we first walked in, I seen a table and we were standing around the table and on the table was a treasure map, like a pirate's treasure map, mm -hmm. with X marking the spot. Okay. So I I, I haven't got a sense yet what the map means, though. Yes, map map gives us gives, um, direction on what to yes. So, um, ask the Lord. So, how do we get to the X? That is what we want to achieve. You know, we want to achieve. We want to get to the X. You know, um. So we want to have the armies, you know, removed, and we want to take back what belongs to us. We want to have the angels plunder. Want to plunder the the their camps and take back what. But you have to first of all have the strong man or or the in this case the arm is removed okay anyone else so lord where do we start where do you want us to go you know to get cleansed refreshed Okay. Um, thank you, Mighty God. Thank you, Awesome God, for um, telling us where to start from. We ask for your and what to do. Thank you for telling us what to do. Lord, we ask for your permission to step out of this room of strategy. Okay, we will be stepping, we're going to take a pause, we'll be stepping into the chambers of our King Jesus Christ. Okay, and there in his chambers, we are going to get cleansed with the living water, we're going to get refreshed with the living water and healing, and with the living water and the blood, and we are going to do what? Get refreshed. So, when we step into his chambers, 
what you see or perceive to be um, whether it is living water, whether it is, you know, and we're going to get fed with the bread of life. He is the bread of life. The living water of the word, it cleanses and it heals. The blood of Jesus Christ does the same too. Cleanses and heals and get restored. Okay? So, um, if there are words that the Lord is giving to you, scriptures or prayers, he's, you know, giving to you. So when we get into the Lord's um, chambers, we will be doing that. Okay, we're going to be asking, we're going to be praying and asking, okay, so but I would start the prayers and, you know, anyone, if you have a word that the Lord is giving to you, you can release it, pray that word, you know, and release it, you know, so, and when we get into this, these chambers, just, we are going to start by letting go of whatever that is the burden, whatever, you know, um, you know, whatever that is the um, that is that we came in with. We're gonna just let it go, release it there, lay it down at His feet, for His burden is light, and His yoke is easy. So, okay. Almighty God, King of Kings, our Yeshua, Hamashiach, our Groom. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you for your permission to step into your chambers. You are the you are the apostle and high priest of our faith, of our confession, O oh Lord. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are The one who paid the price in full for us. You're not just our savior. You are our salvation. You're not just our, redeem you are our redeemer. You are our redemption. Oh Lord. The price paid in full for us. So we run. Into your chambers Lord. We come with all the. Burdens, the yokes, the everything that attached itself to us from the world, oh Lord. When it attached itself to our heart, to our soul, to our bodies, to any component of ourselves, to our lives, whichever way, or is hanging around us, mighty God, we come with it, all of it, including words that were released. Over us, over our spheres, over or around us, Almighty God. Lord, we bring all and we lay them at your feet. We lay them at your feet. All the crowns we received as well, we lay, we cast at your feet, Lord. Everything. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Shandera Katalebo Sikirama. Yes, Lord. Apply your blood. Yes, Lord. Upon us. Upon our hearts, upon our soul. Upon our bodies, apply your blood mingled with your living water. Yes, Lord, laced with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Yes, with your holy fire, Lord Jesus Christ, to remove every attachment of evil, every attachment of darkness to cleanse us, O oh Lord, and refresh us and heal us. Yes, 
Yes, Lord. For we will not win this battle by our own strength. Not by our own strategies, not by our own power. Not by the, not the, um, not the arm of flesh cannot win this battle for us. The world systems and ways cannot win this battle for us. It is by you, the one who already conquered for us. Yes, Lord, we are your body. Let the lights refract from your breastplate, penetrating every component of our persons, quickening our spirit man, refreshing our soul. Yes, penetrating every cell, every tissue, every organ, every part of us, O oh Lord, in all directions, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Roar as a lion of the tribe of Judah. Roar over us, O oh Lord. Yes. Releasing your frequencies, O oh Lord. Who wants to go next? Thank you, Lord. Who wants to go next? We thank you and we praise you. We honor you. Our heart cry, Lord God, is to, to be with you, to be in your presence, Lord. That we might desire to seek you with all of our hearts, Lord God. And all of the, the circumstances around us, Lord God. That sometimes without our knowledge, without even knowing or feeling anything, we are weighed, by, weighed down by the heaviness that surrounds us. Lord, we ask at this moment that you would come and remove by your spirit, by the water of your word, Lord God. That you wash us, Lord, wash off any shock, any trauma, any uh, fear. that might, or terror that might have um, just entered into us, Lord God. And sometimes we're not, uh, we're not aware of it, that we walk in, in these things, Lord God, because it's in the air, it's in the atmosphere, and we still live in this world. So Lord, we ask that the word of your word, the word that says that you are the water, the water, the water, the word, of the spirit, oh God, that washes us clean, cleanses us, brings that uh, to us a refreshing that we need to move forward, a refreshing specifically from you that our spirit, Lord God, man would rejoice, would be dancing. Or that you remove anything, any stain, from the outside that hinders us from moving forward, that you would remove it and issue his mighty name. Help us to dance with you, oh, with you at this moment, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to move away from all of those places, Lord God, the, the things we hear, the things that we see, even though it doesn't seem to bother us, but it does in our humanity. We ask for the refreshing 
water of the word, the living water, cleanses us, Lord oh God, so that we can dance with you, we can dwell with you, we can eat with you, dine with you, this moment today, this hour. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, Abby. Oh, our Savior, how marvelous you are. Lord, you said there's so much light, so much light. You've given us so much light to comfort our hearts with your light. Lord, we receive your light. Oh, we receive your light. And Lord, your light drives out every darkness. Darkness cannot dwell in your light. We give ourselves to you, receive your light. We receive the light of your peace. Oh, we receive the light of your joy. We receive the light of your salvation even now. We receive the light of your deliverance. We are refreshed with your light, permitting every part of our bodies, souls, and spirit. We receive your light. We rejoice in your light. Oh, we hearken to you. We hearken to every Every move of your light, we receive it. It's so strong. We receive it, Lord. We embrace your light. We strengthen our being with your light. Lord, we thank you for your light. You are the light of our lives, the light of our strength. Lord, we receive it. We walk in it. We bask in it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. You are so good. Oh, we just lie down. We just, we just give ourselves over to your light. It envelopes us. It energizes us. We thank you. And we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Okay. I have, um, I have, um, so this one, um, the Lord just put it in my heart. Um, a prayer for the spirit man from Dan Duvall's book, one of his books. Okay, and I think some of us already have, a, I, I posted a copy some time ago on the, um, so this helps to kind of really quicken and energize the spirit man. So I'll do that for um, the, I'll do the two, the first and the second one. That's where I'll start. Okay. So Lord Jesus, our Yeshua, we are here in your chambers, O oh Lord, I call for our spirit man to rise up and be fully present. I bless you, our spirit man, in the name of Jesus Christ. We honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. We invite you to be present at the surface. And, and please feel free where you are to repeat after me if you want to, okay? Or you, you just be speaking in tongues, but don't leave yourself muted, please. We need you to remember that you have been redeemed fully and translated into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we release you this very moment by the precious blood of Jesus Christ from any demonic ploys Covenants, agreements, traits, dedications, curses, hexes, spells, witchcraft, rituals, sacrifices, and divinations that you have been brought into by the children of darkness. 
as a highly exalted ambassador of Christ and joint heir with Jesus Christ. I release you, all of our spirit men, now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, from the burden of having to obey the words of the children of darkness and from every yoke of darkness that, I, that was placed on you. I decree and declare that you will no longer be subdued by the evil words, the bad news, the negative news, the false news, the lies, evil words, the curses on works of those who despise the name of the Lord God Yahweh and his glorious kingdom. You are now forever legally and righteously relieved of your duty to the children of darkness. You are now reinstated and I reinstate you fully and permanently in the service of Christ and his kingdom. Now you, our spirit man, I need you, we need you to remember a few things. You are light from light. For it is written, nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Isaiah 60 verse 3. You are fire, for it is written, the spirit man is the lamp of the Lord, such are not the in, inmost parts of his being. Proverbs 20 verse 27. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came to baptize in the Holy Spirit and in fire, Matthew 3, verse 11. And I decree over you that your flame is now being mingled with the fire of Jesus Christ. You are breath, for it, for it is written that the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Genesis 2 verse 7. You are that breath. You are wind. For it is written that the wind blows where it wishes. And you hear the sound of it. But cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the spirit. According to John chapter 3 verse 8. You are smoke. Our spirit man, you are smoke. For it is written. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils. And fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. Psalm 18 verse 8. I charge you with the strength and life of Jesus Christ. For you are strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. According to Ephesians 3 verse 16. Lord, God, Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you for our spirit man. And I call for the oil of anointing to be poured over our spirit man, over our head, uh, the, the, our head to overflow. According to Psalm 23, verse 5. I call for the living water to wash our spirit man completely and totally and for the bread of life to be abundantly ministered to our spirit man, to each and every yes. I call for the stress of Jesus Christ to be applied to every wound and affliction. Bringing our spirit man to wholeness and soundness. According to Isaiah 53 verse 4 to 5. I call for the application of the healing balm of Gilead. And I declare that the son of righteousness is rising over our spirit man with healing in his wings. Malachi 4 verse 2. I call for the frequencies of light, sound, wind, fire and water vibrate from the Vibrating from the glory of God into our spirit man. Supercharging our spirit man to soar high like, an e like eagles and to roar like the lion from the lion of the tribe of Judah. According to Psalm 103 verse 5, John 15 verse 5, 1 John chapter 4 verse 17, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18. I call for the issuance of new garments of righteousness, garments of honor, and garments of glory in our favorite colors to be put on our spirit man. And for our spirit man to be wrapped in cloaks of divine passion for you, Almighty God, and strong faith in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the all round healing and restoration manifesting now in our spirit man. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. And then um, we finish with you, the next one. A 
also our spirit man we need you to remember that your nature and design is transdimensional. You are not limited by time or space. The laws of the physical earth do not define the limits of your capacity or ability. You can bow the heavens. You are raised up and seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You are a citizen in heaven, chosen from the foundation of the world. You are divinely commissioned and your, and your instatement in the army of God is by divine decree. You have angels on assignment with you. You are not alone. And in fact, you are more than enough. You have incalculable resources in Christ Jesus. You are made with wings and they are designed to be engaged. I command that any device, rope or chain binding your wings be now unlocked and cut off by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Expand your wings. Our spirit mean yes. Expand your wings. Let, let your wings be loose now. Expand your wings. Oof. For it is written in Isaiah 40, verse 31. Those that are in earnest expectation of the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Yes, Lord. You, our spirit man, I call all of your angels, resources, ramps, and thrones charged with the names of God. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Sikenu, Jehovah Makadesh, Jehovah Ra'a, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Geboa, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Sabbath, Jehovah Isus, Jehovah Hosseinu, Jehovah Kana, Jehovah Kail, Jehovah Melkama, El Shaddai, Adonai, El Elyon, El Olam, El Roy, El Melech, El Gemua, El Hanora, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Ruach, Hakodesh. We need you, our spirit man, to remember that you are part of a generation sent to the earth for such a time as this. You received your assignment at the throne of the Father. You were with God when he laid the foundations of the earth. You pre-exist your assignment on this on the earth, and as such, you are resourced with ages of preparation for this moment in your service to the Most High God. All of creation groans wait, awaiting the manifestation of the sons of God, and you are called to manifest to the, to the creation as an agent of the re redemptive Agent, um, agenda of heaven. Yes. All of creation groans awaiting the manifestation of the sons of God. And you, our spirit man, is called to manifest to creation as an agent of the redemptive agenda of heaven. You are an ambassador, you are an ambassador of the kingdom of God on and off planet, and the limits of the body and of the soul have no bearing on you at all. Therefore, you are invited to step now into your full expression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you. Janice, you are muted. Say again. Was I muted all this time? Yes. Just now. Just now. After the prayer. Okay. Just now. You are muted. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't have that happen. I don't know. But um, I was saying that I need feedback. You know, I need um, I need to hear what uh, what did we, if you saw anything, if you heard anything. But for me, I saw our spirit man rise up. You know, it was on a bent position, like squatting and all that bent over. But when I was talking about the wings, you know, spreading out, it rose up and it was like transparent wings, you know, huge, you know, and then spreading out and spreading out and spreading out and all that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was what I saw. I, I didn't see any, but I heard um, it's like, the wing, it is like was 
squeezed together and all of a sudden it just popped up over the plot. I'm like this, that, that noise. It just, it, I, I, I don't have a word for that, for the, the sound that I heard. And I thought I was, you know, imagining, well, yeah, imagining things. It made a noise when it just, yeah. like, it flew it like this. Okay. Just, oh. Yeah. I felt yeah. the um, I felt the wings expand and the muscles in the backs flex. Yeah. 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 It's 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 kind of amazing that you know it could be other colors, but I'm, I'm I, you know it's it's kind of amazing that the wing it's the wings you know are transparent kind of you know they are like thin glass and then the way it's huge and all that but then you could wow that is amazing it's amazing that the things that god has given to us you know it's like you know it's that you are more than enough you know because we are made in his image and he has equipped us with everything to be successful so that is a good that is a huge huge um prayer you know to release over yourself if you know um whenever and however you need you know and um if you need a copy of it you know i've posted it before on our in our group and you know i would let me know and i'll post it again okay for those who would want a copy of it okay so we are ready yes and thank you for repeating that 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 every time you said the wings and and it's like no we need more it's it's not enough yet uh, say it again say talk about the wing again talk about the wing again. <laughs> Yes. It's a day that wait upon the Lord shall mount up with wings like eagles. You know, yes. So we it, yes, it is the Lord says, you know, it is it's very it's we are not aware sometimes of all of the, the and not just for our our thinking, but what we hear, what we what we run into the on the bus and the train, wherever people are talking, overhearing news, and it it you're not conscious of it most of the time, but, but it does wear you out. It makes you, you know, so we always yeah. need to, under Niagara Falls, jumping in from the top, just diving into that water and being refreshed, so. Right, we do, we do. Okay, people of God, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. You're so wonderful. We bless your holy name. Now we're going to be stepping into the court of decrees and to deal with what we came here with. We initially were supposed to be doing. So get, um, you know, initially when I had wanted to send um, the notice to have us prepare with words, with scriptures that we're going to be declaring in the courts of decree but the lord would each time i try to you know um he would say wait you know and all that or don't do that you know so i'm like okay the thing is uh, because he wanted to us to understand what i said at the beginning that our um the warfare our enemies you know come in different types and shapes and all those things you know so when you come into the room of um, to the court of decrees and declaration, you are decreeing and making declaration. Actually, it's it, you know, but do not come in with any um okay, Lord, um vengeance on humans. Okay, do not come with vengeance, remove that far away from your mind, you know, and all that. But at the same time, do not come in with oh Lord, um you know, if you slap me on one cheek, you know, turn the other cheek, you know, pray for those who persecute you. This is not, <laughs> this is rising up as the ecclesia and whatever. So open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. Whatever the Holy Spirit is giving you to decree and declare. You you use, you say, I decree or I declare or I, um, or I release or I call for, you know, those are the things, you know, and maybe he'll just give you scriptures. You say you release the scripture. And be aware that as you're releasing it, the angels are waiting to, you know, execute those things that we will be. Yeah. So we've removed what is what was standing in the way. Now they are ready. They're waiting for us, you know, um, 
to release the words, okay? So are we clear on what we need to do? So I will get us started and um, be ready with scriptures, be ready with with prophets. Maybe there's something that the Lord is putting in your heart or in your, um, to, de to decree or declare, and or declare. You know, one thing I have noticed is this, I've realized is this, a lot of some things that the Lord will be saying to me, I don't know where it is in the scriptures. I just follow by faith and declare. I probably don't even understand it. It is later, he will not say, oh, this is what, you know, he will show it to me in the scripture or give, bring revelation on a, on a scripture or I would um, he bring confirmation through someone else because there are some things, like kind of revelations that it's only by revelation that you would understand what um, he's saying, you know, or what he's giving to you because you may not, you know, there may not be a verbatim, you know, um, written word in the scripture. Does that make sense? So do not wait until, oh, I'm not sure if this is in the word. I am not sure. Trust the Holy Spirit. He said the just shall live by faith. Trust him. He said by, the, by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. So trust the Holy Spirit to be saying it to you and you are releasing it. Your spirit man is now charged and ready to go. Okay? It's ready to go. So just uh, be saying it. And if you think that your, your soul is inter will be interfering, as we are going into the court of decrees and declaration, take your soul. You can do that. You really have the power to do that. Say, my soul, okay, now rest. Go back into the um, chambers of Jesus Christ and just sleep there. Rest there. I don't need your interference. Stay there. Wait for me there. When I finish, I'll come and get you. Okay? You can do that. You can ask the Lord just for permission and keep your soul there. You know? And... Um, You'll be fine. So you don't need interference from your soul now. You need your spirit man to do his work. Okay? Are we clear? Sure. Thank you. Okay, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Yeah, I feel so charged up too myself. I didn't realize I was that tired. Lord, we ask for your permission to step into your court of decrees and declarations as your ecclesia. Yes. Lord, we come hiding ourselves in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we are channeling these decrees and declarations over the armies of hell that have been released against our destinies. For us, for our families, for our bloodlines, for our DNA, for our mattresses, Almighty God, for households. And Lord God Almighty, we trust you to know how to execute this words. To th they shall not miss their targets. We come wrapping ourselves, O oh Lord as one with the Lord Jesus Christ, as one with the Holy Spirit. And with the same faith of Jesus Christ, the same faith of Christ, we believe, therefore we decree and declare. Oh, okay. The Lord says start by declaring and by declaring his names. Holy Spirit, thank you. Mash and dedicate the year so we do it. Hang on a second, I wanna make sure. Shandarikate Lea Rabasu to Rabasakatarikate. Yes, Lord. My tongue is the tongue of a ready writer. And as I release your names, O oh Lord, hmm. your names are also released into the heavens, into the earth, across all realms, dimensions, wherever the armies of hell are operating from, including their commanders, their generals, 
including yes yes their mattresses mm -hmm. including their um their higher up um Yes, entities and others that they work with, they work and they work for in executing um, evil agendas and assignments against us. Yes, to this moment, this hour, today, it, it is terminated and terminated forever. So we declare your name, Almighty God. You are our merciful, forgiving, and gracious Abba Father. Yes, Lord. Jehovah Sekenu, Jehovah Makadesh, Jehovah Hosein, our maker, Jehovah Kana, the jealous God who will not give us up, Jehovah Jireh, our provider and provision, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Shama, your ever presence with us, Jehovah Ra'a, our good, great shepherd, Jehovah Shalom, our peace, who crushes the enemies under our feet, Jehovah Elohim, the Lord God Almighty over all, Jehovah Nisi, the banner of victory over us. Jehovah Gabor, the victorious warrior. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Isus, the Lord strong and mighty. Jehovah Melkama, the Lord, the Lord mighty in battle. Jehovah Uzi, our strength. Jehovah Kail, our powerful bold courage. Jehovah Elmekeslanu, our refuge. Jehovah Shafat, our just judge and our justice. Jehovah Ashib, our restorer. Jehovah El Shaddai, our supreme blessed nurse. You who is more than enough for us. Adonai, Adonai Perizim, the Lord of breakthroughs. El Melek, El Meleki, El Elyon, El Kadoshim, El Olam, El Hakabad, El Hanora, El Emeth, El Kaim, El Uri, El Roy, El Azar, our helper, El Tigva, our only hope, mighty God. El, en, El Emuna, El Gemua, El Simkad Giyil, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Ruach, Hakodesh. Yes, Lord. Now, Almighty God, I decree, uh, we decree and declare according to Psalm 125. That as the mountains are run about Jerusalem, so are you run about your people. For the sector of wickedness shall not rest upon us, upon our lot, O oh Lord, no longer. So we decree and declare that the sector, whatever that is their rule, whatever that is their command, whatever that is their strategy, whatever that is the legal rights that they have, is taken out of the way, completely broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit and by the light of your word. The three that bear witness, yes, that we are the children of God in the earth. Mm -hmm. We decree and declare. But all of these armies of heaven, uh, all of these armies of hell that have been released against us, O oh Lord, that Lord God Almighty, you are casting your nest, your net over them, rather them all up. Yes, we decree and declare that your angels, that you, Lord Jesus Christ, are releasing the information to your angels on where they are, on everywhere they are hidden. On every on their command center, and having your angels cast your net upon them and rub rub them all up. Not one shall escape. 
all of them, Lord, write it up. And sent to where you, Lord Jesus Christ, did, yes, would have them sent. We decree and declare that their time is over, their turn is over. The, yes, Lord. Therefore, all of their works, all of their assignments, all of their gender terminated completely and totally. This moment is out. Mm -hmm. For all God Almighty, you said that you were content with those who contend with us, and you will and those who strive with us we shall see no more. We decree and declare that the assignment is permanently terminated and they cannot be reinstated or reassigned. We decree and declare that all their access points, all their strongholds, all their hiding places all their yes all yes every structure and operations they've been using against us oh lord are completely destroyed with your lightning Your fire, your brimstones, your hailstones, your tsunamis of living water, your instruments of utter destruction, yes, and your armies of your angelic host, your angelic armies. Yes, all the access points we seal off, we decree and declare that sealed off now with the fire of the Holy Spirit. And the wall of fire built over it. Yes, Lord. And covered with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Who wants to go next? Who is ready to go next? Welcome. Okay. okay. Isaiah 35, 1. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad and the desert shall rejoice and blossoms and blossom like rose, like the rose and the autumn crocus. I decree and declare that we have been washed by the blood of the lamb, cleansed by the living water, and the dry land is now lush. And I decree and declare the prosperity and doorways to our destinies will open. I decree and declare that living water will flow through us And I decree and declare that we are fed with the bread of life. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? Okay, I will go.
according to Isaiah 28, verse 15, because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with show, we are in agreement. When the overflowing scourge passes through, it will not come to us, for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves. Therefore, I decree and declare that your covenant you made with, with death and your covenant you made with Shoal and your agreement with Shoal are broken completely and destroyed by the hand of the Almighty God. I decree and declare the covenants you made with each other, the covenant we made with for your protection, for the hedge of, hedge of protection around you, the covenant you made, the covenants, the agreements you made. Yes. Are completely and totally destroyed by the hand of the Almighty God. They shall not stand. Yes. I also decree and declare that the lies you have made us for your refuge and the falsehood that you're feeding yourselves under are completely removed and burnt in the holy fire of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that there's no hiding place for you and that you are apprehended now. All the humans involved are apprehended now and taken to the feet of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you deal with them as you choose, as you deem fit. Yes, Lord. But the evil, we decree and declare that it's completely and totally cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone else? Okay, let me um, decree. <clears throat> Lord, according to Romans 8, 37, you say, Lord, we are more than conquerors. And so, Lord, with this, armed with this word, we put ourselves in your hands as battle arc axis to be used to pull down to break every barrier that the enemy has built around us father lord as battle axis lord we declare that we are weapons of war breaking every barrier breaking down the walls of jericho and we march in and we are take what the lord has for us Lord, my God, as battle axes in your hands, we pull down every stronghold of the enemy around us. We declare we are free. We are free and every wall comes crashing down now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Sharon? I decree Psalms 40, 7 and 8, because we come in the volume of the book written of us, and we delight in the will of the Father, our God. His love is in our heart, and the plans that he has for us is good. I decree that the enemy's mouth is shut of all the wickedness that he has opened his mouth against us. Every wicked judgment against us is dissolved. I decree that the enemy is clothed with shame and covered with confusion. Amen. 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 Anyone else who wants to go next? I'm sure you have scriptures to decree, you have scripture to declare. 
What is the Lord giving you? That's Psalm one twenty five one says, "Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion." Lord, we declare and decree that we are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but we abide forever. We declare and decree that the mount, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds us, His people, from this time forth and forevermore. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, a mountain that cannot be moved. And we declare and decree Psalm 25. Again, it says, Oh my God, in you we put our trust. Let us not be put to shame. Let us not be put to shame. Let not our enemies exalt over us. Father, we thank you that we are built Lord God, in you, we are in you, built up in you. Like Mount Zion, the enemy can run around, but it cannot penetrate. And we thank you for that in Yeshua's name. We decree it, we declare it in the heavenlies. We are strong oaks standing like trees planted by rivers in, in rivers of living water. We are strong and mighty. In the name of the Lord, we declare it in the heavenlies. We declare it. We declare the word of the Lord that we are like Mount Zion. We are strong. We are courageous. And we will succeed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Amen. And Lord, it said that, that no weapon formed or fashioned against us shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against us in judgment, we shall um, show to be in the wrong or condemn or refute. Therefore, mighty God, we decree and declare that all the weapons, that, yes, including these armies of hell that are weapons that have been fashioned against us, mighty God, that they shall not prosper against us, Lord. But a mighty God, that your hand is stretched forth, turning all those weapons fashioned against us, multiplying it, them, multiplying them exponentially, and landing them on the heads of those that fashion those weapons. That men would fear you, that your all will fall on man, and your terror. On the your on your on your enemies, we decree and declare that every tongue that has risen up against in judge against us in judgment, O oh Lord, mighty God, against our destinies, against or anything that you've given to us, every tongue, yes, every word released by these armies of hell, Lord against us, against our life, against our destinies. Mighty God, we condemn those words to death, null and void now. We gather all those words by the wind of the Spirit from all the realms where they've been released against us. Mighty God, from everywhere where they, that they're hanging and operating, all the frequencies that they're releasing, mighty God, we gather them, all those words together with their, their frequencies, from all the realms and dimensions that we've been released and timelines and ages. And by the wind of the spirit, we gather them and we cast them to the ground into the fire of the spirit of God and command them to burn completely out with no trace of them. In their place, we release the word of the Lord. We release the, the living letters that are written of us in our books in heaven. The living, living letters from Aleph to Tav. Yes, Lord. We release the living letters that are written of us. We, release, uh, we call forth the Aleph, the Bet, the Gemel, the Dale, Heg, Vav, Zayim, Chet, Tet, Yod, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, 
Samek, Ayim, Pe, Sade, Kof, Resh, Shin, and Tav. We bless these living letters in the name of Yeshua and release them into the earth from our books into the earth to the glory and honor of your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Who wants to go next? I'll go. Okay. I decree and declare from the book of Isaiah 40, 10 and 4. Behold, the Lord God shall come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him. I decree and declare that the Lord, with your strong hand and with your arm, your ruling Lord for us. There is no armies of hell that will rule for us. You are ruling, and your reward is with you, Lord. I decree and declare that every valley shall be exalted in every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places smooth. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Amen. 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 Yes, Pramud, go ahead. Ephesians 1.4 we decree and declare just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestined to adoption as sons by Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of him, his will, to the praise of glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 48, 6 and 7. You have heard, see all this, and will you not declare it? I have made you hear new things from this time, even hidden things, and you did not know them. They are created now, and not from the beginning. And before this day, you have not heard them. At least you should say, of course, I knew them. Lord, we decree and declare that you are starting a new thing in us. You are making things happen for your purpose, God. That day, the, the God of Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in knowledge of him. Lord, we decree and declare that you give us spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and sealed him and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. In the name of Yahushua, we decree and declare. Amen. I'm going to declare and decree from Exodus 15. And it says, The Lord, we declare and decree, the Lord is our strength and song, and he has become our salvation. This is our God, and we will praise him, our Father's God, and we will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. And going down the, the, his right, the right hand, your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow our adversaries. You send out your fury. It consumes them like stubble. At the blast of your nostril, the waters piled up. The flood stood up in a heap and deeps. The deep is congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue. Nevertheless, you blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deed, deeds, doing wonders? You stretch out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. So, Father God, we 
praise you and we honor you because you are a mighty God, a God of war, and you fight our battles for us. And we glorify your name. We adore you and we love you, Father God, for fighting our battles for us. We declare it in the heavenlies that we are strong. We are strong. We are mighty in Christ Jesus. And we will have good success. Amen. Amen. Yes, Abby? Okay. I decree and declare Jeremiah 29, 11. The Lord says to us, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And I also decree Isaiah 40, verse 1. Say, comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Father, we declare and decree your comfort over our lives, comfort of your favor, comfort of your peace, the comfort of your salvation, the comfort of your deliverance, the comfort of your power, comforting us on all sides, Father. We are comforted and we go forth victorious in your comfort. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And I decree from Jeremiah 50, 50 verse 20, from verse 24. The Lord says, I have laid a snare for you. You have indeed been trapped, O Babylon, and you were not aware. You have been found and also caught because you have contended against the Lord. The Lord has opened his armory and has brought out the weapons of his indignation for this is the work of the lord god of hosts in the land of the chaldeans come against her from the father's border open her storehouses cast her out up as heaps of ruins and destroy her utterly let nothing of her be left slay all her bulls let them go down to the slaughter woe to them for their day has come the time of their punishment Therefore, mighty God, we decree and declare according to your word that you would open up your armory. That you open up your armory completely and totally, O oh Lord. And upon these armies of hell that have been released against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Also, according to Revelation chapter 12, from verse 7, I said, and the war broke out in heavens. Lord, now let your angels go, 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 go. Oh, Lord, armed with your armories, armed with your weapons of utter destruction, armed with your weapons of warfare. You know, also, Lord, lose your um, living creatures of warfare. Let them go now. We decree and declare that they are out now being released by you, O oh Lord. Like you said, you have emptied, you are, you have opened your armory, yes, and has brought out the weapons of your indignation. Lord, we decree and declare that you're loosening your armory, your angel armies now, Lord, warring against, warring on our behalf against these armies of hell, yes, Toasting them, destroying their strongholds, destroying their command center, destroying their communication centers, destroying their supply chain, destroying their operations, oh Lord, destroying their system, destroying completely and totally. Yes, everywhere they have been, and in us, or everywhere they are, and in Isaiah 25, verse 2. Almighty God, we decree and declare that you make a you, know, a, a, um, you, you, you make a ruinous heap of all their fortified cities. Almighty God, you make a ruinous heap of all their palaces. You make a ruinous heap of all their strongholds. You make a ruinous heap of all their structures of darkness that they will never be rebuilt. And we take the cross of Jesus Christ and we stick upon all of this, all of those places that. Um, uh, upon all of this heap and that they cannot be rebuilt 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that therefore the strong people will glorify your name, Almighty God. The city of the terrible nations will fear you, Almighty God, for you alone have been a strength to us, a strength to the needy in, in our distress, a refuge for the, from the storm, a shade from the heat, for the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the world, and you and we decree and declare that you are, re, you are reducing the noise of the aliens, the noise of these armies of hell, O oh Lord, as heat in a dry place, as heat in the shadow of a cloud, the song, the frequencies that they've been releasing are, um, we decree and declare that they are now diminished, completely annihilated and wiped off, O oh Lord, with your living water mingled with the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. And in this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for his people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wine on the lease, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lease, Almighty God. And, they will, and we decree and declare you will destroy on this mountain the surface of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. You will swallow up death forever and the Lord will, will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people, you, Almighty God, will take it away. We decree that you take it away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken and it will be said on this day, Behold, this is our God. We say on the bill, this is our God. We have waited for him and he has and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We'll be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For on this mountain, the hand of the Lord will rest and the enemies shall be trampled down under you, Almighty God, as straw is trampled down for the refuge heap. And you, you will, and you have, we decree and declare that you've spread out your hands in their midst as a swimmer reaches out to swim. And Lord, we praise your holy name. And decree and declare that you are bringing them down. You're bringing down their pride together with the trickery of their hands. The fortress of the high, of the high, the fortress of the high, uh, the fortress of the high fort of your of their walls. The Almighty God is bringing down now and laying low and bringing to the ground down to the dust. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Anyone else? Uh, I would like to decree Psalm 35. Psalms 35 from verse 4. Let them be confounded and be put to shame. Them that seek after my soul, let them be turned back and be brought to confusion that devise my heart. Let them be as chaff before the, the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Verse 6, and let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in the pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Verse 8, let destruction come upon him at unaware, and let his net that has hid catch himself into that very destruction let him fall father in jesus mighty name we thank you we honor you king of glory no weapon forged against us shall ever prosper in the name of jesus christ no destruction shall come our way in jesus mighty name we stop every activity of the enemy all forces of darkness every evil in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit we pray father take your place in our lives O king of glory in this room oh god of all creation the room of strategy you are giving us strategy my father on how to fight these battles oh god in the name of jesus we acknowledge your presence your power your anointing upon our lives you are changing things my father for us in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and no evil shall befall us we declare your presence your power your anointing oh god of all creation we declare your supremacy above father we declare your power oh god of all creation your guidance your leading of oh god of all creation in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we declare we are more than conquerors. We are going far by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, we honor you. We appreciate you, Jehovah God. We stop every activity of the enemy, all forces of evil, every power of wickedness in the air, in the land, in the sea. We silence every force. We destroy all works of the enemy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, O oh God of all creation, take your place in our lives. We honor you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, Naomi, we were in the room 
of we are in the court of decree and declaration so we focus on releasing decrees and declaration we don't oh. pray we don't ask okay in the when we come that is why it so that it is focused okay Okay. We okay. and declare. But yes, you did some of that as well. But thank you. Thank you. Um, Lauren, go ahead, please. Oh, yes. I would like to decree Isaiah 60. Complete over our lives. We receive, O oh Lord, we shall arise and shine. For your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon us. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And deep, deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over us and his glory will be seen upon us. The Gentiles shall come to our light and kings to the brightness of our rising. Then, then we shall see and become radiant and our hearts shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to us. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to us. Uh, therefore, our gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring to us the wealth of the Gentiles and the kings in possession. In Jesus' name we decree and declare it. We receive it. Amen. Amen. Anyone else with any any more decrees, yes. declaration? I would, I would like to. Okay. Joy, Joy go ahead. Please. I, I, I read from Isaiah 51, 20. Can you say that again? It's kind of a little bit noisy. I think you're... Um... Yes, maybe your, head, your headphone. No, no, no. Maybe someone has not muted. Okay, go ahead. Not me, Janice. Someone mute. Not everyone is muted. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. That's why the noise is the background. Okay. All right. I decree and declare Isaiah 51 from 22. Uh, Thus says your Lord, the Lord and your God, who please the cause of his people. See, I have taken out of your hand the cup of trembling, the dregs of the cup of my fury. You shall no longer drink it, but I will put it into the hand of those who afflict you, who have said to you, lie down, that we may walk over you. And you have laid your body like the ground and as a street for those who walk over. So I decree and declare that the cup of the Lord, the, the cup of the Lord's fury, uh, will be put into the hands of those who afflict us, those armies of hell. They shall drink the cup of the Lord, of the Lord's fury, in the name of Jesus. I also decree and declare, the Lord shall go forth like a mighty man, Isaiah 42, 13. He shall stir up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout aloud. You shall prevail against his, he shall prevail against his enemies. I decree and declare that the Lord is going forth like a mighty man for us. He's tearing up his zeal like a man of war in the name of Jesus. He's prevailing against the armies of hell of our lives in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that he bring that the Lord he brings the princesses to nothing. He makes the judges of the earth useless. So I decree and declare that the Lord is 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 bringing these armies of hell to nothing. He brings them to nothing totally and completely, and he's making them useless in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, Amen. Amen, 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 and amen. Okay, um, we'll be getting ready to, you know, leave the room of, um, and then we can discuss after that. Lord, we end these decrees and declarations with what you said, O oh Lord, 
that you have purpose against, yes, to destroy these armies of hell that have risen up against us. Who shall know your purpose? According to Isaiah, I think it's um, 14, around 24. Yes, and your hand is stretched forth against them. Who shall turn it back, O oh Lord? And that their doom is our salvation. Our salvation is their doom, mighty God. Thank you. Thank you. It, it is so, it is done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. We ask for permission to step out of this court of decrees and declarations and into the um, room of covenant. Um, Sharon, can you do the bread for us, please? And um, Blessing, can you do the cup for us, please? Sure. Okay. And Pramud will close us out. Okay, thank you. Oh, Father, we thank you for how you have led us. And we come remembering the covenant that you have made with us. As your children, we are grateful. And we thank you for the bread, the bread of life, the body of Christ that was broken for us. To set us free from the outslot of our enemies. Thank you so much for giving your body, Jesus, on the cross. Thank you for dying. Thank you for taking away the iniquity and the debt that would have come to us. Thank you for making us joint ears with you, Christ. We bless this bread, and as we partake, we eat remembering what you have done for us. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, this cup, which is the New Testament of your covenant, we lift it up to you, Father. For this show forge that your blood was shed for us, I declare that the blood cleanses us from all defilement and make us holy. And by Almighty God, your blood, we covenant covenant with you tonight. And we ask, Father, as we lift up our cup to you, that as a symbol, it will bring healing to our soul, mind, spirit, and body. With this, Almighty God, we ask in Jesus' name, may we all drink. Um, hang on a second. And Lord, with this precious blood of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, mingled with the fire of the Holy Spirit and the light of you, what we cover ourselves completely and totally, and everybody and everything you put under stewardship and care. They've been declaring that evil cannot and shall not befall us all the days of our lives, O oh Lord, and that there shall not be any, um, and that there will be complete and total all round protection and preservation for us. We receive, we receive by the special blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we ask that 
all decrees, declarations and prayers which have been done today in this prayer call be sealed for time and eternity. We ask that this word be released, be recorded in the books of heaven. We ask that the angel army be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of Lord that makes us refit every spiritual gift in heavenly places that is legally ours by the right of our eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. We declare according to Isaiah 55, 11, that every word in agreement with the will of Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in the matter for which it was set. We declare Holy Spirit's breath through a life is upon this prayer. We decree, we decree that the enemy shall not release against our life, our family, any curses, counter curses, strategies or retaliations against our health, marriage, children, grandchildren, finances, ministry, destiny or well-being in Yahushua's name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. So, um, does anyone want to share what they saw while we went to court of decrees declarations or what they perceived? Oh, sorry, Renu, I'm just seeing what you wrote in the, in the um, sorry about that. Um, but the Lord saw it, the Lord saw it. Thank you. Anyone wants to share? Uh, if... If this is your first time going to the, um, how many people is this their first time going to the court of decrees and declarations consciously? Because sometimes you go into some of this, but you didn't even know. But when you start saying, um, making decrees and declarations, you are there in the court of decrees and declaration, you know? Well, I, um, I've been there before, but this is the first time I got I got a scripture that didn't seem that it applied, um, and I think it's in Mal you know, Micah seven. It says, "Rejoice not over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light." But it, 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 to me, it was said as like, "When I it, uh, don't rejoice over me, my enemy." When I fall, I will arise. Amen. Amen. I will so arise. Chapter 7, verse what? 8. I will arise. I shall arise. I will arise. I Don't shall you? arise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, why do you think it didn't, um, okay, that it didn't apply? If it felt like, you know, the Lord was going on the enemies, but at the same time going on us as well, you know, you know, on both sides. That was what it felt like, you know. Yeah, I think so too, Janice, because he was on our side. He was giving us the comfort and the strength to go mm -hmm. forth. And then he was dealing the judgment on the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yeah. what I said. Yeah, so that is the strategy he used in um, in this one. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else? Yes, Teresa? I felt much stronger going into this, into the Court of Decrees and Declarations this time than I have before. And I, I think that's because you prayed the Prayer of the Spirit Man yeah. Beforehand. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. You know, um, I didn't know what to expect, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that one of us knew what to expect. You know, the Lord kind of takes you, you know, anyhow He wants, and that is fine. You know, the spirit man needed to be charged up. When we came in, He said, uh, "I want you to go to the court of decree, but you, your spirit man, it's not you. You, your, your spirit man is not there. You know, it's not there. It needs help." It needs to be charged up. Okay. So thank God for that. Yes, it really helped a lot. It really felt I literally felt <laughs> I was doing that. <laughs> I literally felt had a physical response, you know. Um when the it was like I don't know, sometimes it feels like electric volt that you know hits one. 
Does that make sense? It feels like electric vote that goes through my body. I was like, it was, you know, it was so strong that well, I knew me, I had been charged. For, for me, it was the first time I've ever had a physical response to a prayer. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's always the first time. Yes, Lauren, you wanted to say something? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very glad you made the prayer for the spirit man. And uh, even before the meeting started, I wanted you to uh, speak the names of God over us. I thought I'll request you to do that, but you did it. So praise God, praise God for that. Yeah, <laughs> you did it twice, in fact. Yes, as the Lord led us. Thank you, Father. Thank praise you, Mary God. God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Anyone else? But I want us to share something. You want to share your experience. You want to share what you you know what it was for you. This encourages, why we do this too is for us to learn, one, two, for it encourages others to know, um, to consciously, you know, know what this is, that is all about, okay? Um, because a lot of us are learning, you know, it is a learning, it is a learning process, process for me. I have never had any time in the courts or the rooms of heaven that was the same. I'm it's never been the same, you know, since even though I've done this for many years, but it's never, there's no session that is the same. Okay. Especially if you're following the Holy Spirit, he does, you know, he does things differently all the time, which is okay. And it's to bring you, you know, and bring you to the end point that the Lord, the Father is already seeing for you. Okay. For us. So that is why we share this. We learn, we grow. We um, become more equipped, you know, we encourage each other so that um, uh, people do not really like, um, um, the people do not really, because maybe past experience or background or something, you know, they are skeptical when it comes to seeing in the spirit or perceiving or, you know, they oh, no, no, no. The enemy does not want you to see. You got to learn that. They don't want you to see. They don't want you to hear. They don't want any communication from your spirit man to your mind, because that means you're going to be successful. That is the, 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 the Lord speaks to the spirit. It's your spirit, man, that down, who pours it into your soul, who pours it into your mind. Okay. So, so which means you have strategies, you have winning strategies, you have wisdom of God to know what to do, you know, they, and you have the strength, you know, as he's pouring it, he, he, each word he gives to you, you know, is packaged with everything you need to be successful in seeing it manifest in your life in the earth. So the enemy doesn't want that because it means you're winning them. So be encouraged, you know, be encouraged, be encouraged to be encouraged to, um, when we're saying, okay, what did you see? What you're perceiving, be encouraged to, you know, even if you make, you, 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 you are, um, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it's in line with what and the Lord is showing everybody else. It doesn't matter. So, okay, this is what I'm perceiving. Uh, this is, you know, what I saw, or this is what I heard. Some people, it is different. Some people, you might, some people, I know when the Lord, it, they have so much physical response. It's like, um, like Barry Whoosh, he, he's on his, you know, he do, ah! you know, that kind of a thing. They have so much physical response. I know a lady, if the Lord is moving, is saying something, it wants, she ministers in healing. So if the Lord is healing, someone wants to release healing for hand, her hand will be, will be like, she'll be, she'll be like this, you know, her hand will be shaking. And then if it's head, her head sometimes will bend and she wouldn't, she wouldn't even know when it, it bent. So, you know, she would bend on one side and then she would, and then her leg who says, you know, that is to show where God is ministering to the people, you know, what God is healing at that time. So be encouraged. God does it in different ways. He does it in different ways. Okay. Don't, limit yourself or try to limit the holy spirit to or to a box this must be i must he must say verbally i must hear him he must sound so this way or that way no it, it may not sound that way but what if it's me what if it's devil what it is don't worry about all of that know that he that approaches must believe that he is and that he mm. is the rewarder so when we're saying that we're going into this place you got to perceive it by your spirit, by faith. That like, yes, we're entering to this room. We're entering to that place. We're going to this place. You know, you got to walk with him by faith. Okay? 
So make make that conscious effort, okay, to make sure that um to see yourself because each and every one of us are designed to hear from him to for to communicate. How would he? He that is why he made us. His, you know, it is love to communicate to us and we communicate back. It's not one way where we only talk to him. No, we communicate. Just what? How is God? Like, how does God like to communicate with me? How is He communicating with me now? So that's what you focus mm. on. So, okay, so don't worry about all of these other things, put that down. So, that is why we share this to encourage people to, you know, to grow and be more confident in communicating with God, in hearing, because that is where we are right now. Man shall not live by bread alone, bread is baked. That is the word He already spoke. But man shall live, live, live by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. What is he saying now to me? What is he mm. saying now to me? That's what we live by. And that is faith. Faith comes by hearing. Okay? That's what he's saying now to us. Okay? So, God bless you. Have a wonderful... Yeah, yes? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. 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 I, I would like to encourage um, Isaiah 41 from verse 10 down, uh, talking about the Lord... This morning, um, I went out, and on probably four or five occasions, the number 41 showed up. It was 41 miles from where I was going. My gasoline cost $41. When you said this morning, you mean Friday morning? Right, yeah, Friday morning. I'm sorry, okay. for morning. It was 41 miles to where I was going, $41 for my gas. I mean, everything was 41 all the way through the day. So it is that for, uh, Isaiah 41, and I read every 41 there was in the Bible, but Isaiah 41 is telling us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Fear not, my little ones. Fear not. I am the Lord. I am with you. Don't be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I would help you. I would uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. And I know we all on, on, on Zoom meetings, and we pray and we have we are encouraged and stuff, but then we go home and there are difficulties that we face. And we are not there praying, you know, and God is encouraging that don't be afraid. In all of the circumstances in the day, all of it, he is watching, he is hearing, he is with you, and he Amen. is not going to forsake you. He never will. You know, just be encouraged. Amen. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Be yeah. encouraged. Okay? Be encouraged. It takes yeah. seven days for God to do the, you know, to, to to speak the word over bringing the earth together, the world together. He could have done it in two seconds or half of a second. He took seven days, and we have to kind of wait on the Lord and be encouraged. Just wait on Him. He is going to come through. Without if not, I have a big mic and a big building, and I'll have a big mouth and let people know <laughs> that he did. <laughs> but I know he will, so I wouldn't have to use that. So he will, he will, he will. No matter what is going on around you, around your nation, around your country, around your neighborhood, God is with you. He's not going to leave. He promised, and he does not fall through. 